Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're looking at arrays. So, if you remember from past videos, arrays are variables that contain uh, multiple numbers or true or false statements within uh, one variable name. So if we create a array, if you remember we already have a variable num or a name uh, called numeric array for our numeric array. Uh, what I can do is set up a uh, logic array in the same manner below. Uh, so let's go to logic array and that one's variable's name is logic array. Very unique. Anyways, so if we we're gonna make four different options <coughs> for each of them. One, two, three, four, and then four here. We'll go true, false, true, false. So remember, true is denoted as a one, and false is denoted as, denoted as a zero for logic arrays. Um, so the other thing that you need to pull out is another variable block. And you'll remember in the past video that you just probably watched, there was um, a read function for your numeric and your logic array. Uh, read. And you'll realize that they just have outputs, so they don't actually take any of the information and process it. So the processing block is the array operations block, which we'll pull out two. And this is numeric. And we want a logic one for this one. So there are three different options for um, array, the array operations block that or that you can uh, input. So array in. So you could create your own array, I suppose, if you wanted to um, to uh, change or read but it wouldn't be very useful. In most cases, you're going to take a read block that it has a variable name attached to it, and you'll plug it into the uh, array in. So that means this array that we just created is jumping over here because we're using the same variable name, and then the wire takes it in here. So remember that the green is true false, so logic, and orange or uh, yellowy kind of color is numbers. And they're thicker, you'll notice. See if we pull out, that's a thin one. That's for one for uh, for one uh, true false statement. The thicker wire, it's kind of like uh, more information. So the next important thing is the index number. And what the index number does is tells you what slot you're looking at within the uh, array that you're inputting. So if you open up the four different options, or you could have more than four if you scroll down, and you can have more. But what the uh, index number does is says what uh, slot you want to look at. So the way that the slot numbering works is the first slot is slot number zero or index number zero. Uh, slot one is index number or slot number two is index number one. Slot number three is index number two. And slot number four is index number three and so forth. Same thing exactly for uh, logic two. So let's say we wanted to read slot three then you'd say use index number two. And then the output is just whatever values in slot uh, number two, or uh, index number two, slot number three. So it, in this case right now, it's three. And if we wanted to do the same thing, it would be a true statement. Or, uh, whoops, slot three, index number two. So now it's a true statement, and it would be outputting true through here. So well, you can also write at index. Uh, so if we go logic and numeric for here, this changes the specified uh, index uh, 
or slot that uh, to a different uh, value. So we'll use the same slot as we did before, slot three, except we'll make the new value for slot three or index number two, 10. And we'll make the new value for slot number three or index number two down here for uh, the logic part uh, false. So now it outputs the new uh, array. And what you need to do is you'd have to grab another variable block except this time a right array and the right kind, so numeric for the top, uh, logic for the bottom, and this would recreate re recreate the uh, array with the new desired uh, value for the specific uh, index number or slot number. So now if you were going to read this uh, array, since slot number three or index number two is replaced, it, it would be replaced with 10 because that's what we set it to. So it would read as 1, 2, 10, 4. And if we were going to the logic part, once again, slot number 3, index number 2 is replaced to false. So it would be true, false, false, false once it, this program is run through it. The other thing that you can do is append. So numeric. and logic. So once again, there's an array in. Once again, you're looking at uh, a value that you're inputting, except this time you're adding a, um, a slot to it. So right now there are four slots when you input it, but there will be a fifth slot after you uh, export it again, or right here. So basically, you're setting the fifth slot now to 10, so it would read as 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. And for logic, it, you have another fifth slot. So it would be true, false, true, false, false. Um, so that can add a specific slot to your, uh, your array. And then the last option is length, which you don't need the final write block anymore. You'll see why in a sec. Ooh, getting funky. Okay. So, all the length does is it tells you how many slots there are in it, in, uh, in an array. So, that's what the output is. You input the uh, array into the block, and it outputs how many slots there are. So, for this one, there would be four, so you'd be out outputting a numeric value of four. Uh, same here, you'd be outputting a numeric value of four. If you had, say, five slots, then you now be outputting five. And that's pretty simple. So things that you might be able to use with, uh, do with uh, arrays are kind of compact your programs. So you can uh, distribute multiple numbers through one uh, variable. So you could say, I don't know, slot uh, one could be motor power, slot two could be distance, and then like slot three, I suppose, could be something totally unrelated, like um, ultrasonic sensor value that you're looking for, or something like that. And slot four could be touch sensor value that you're looking for. It doesn't really matter. They don't have to be grouped. Uh, though you might, it might be hard to remember which one is which unless you have a comment. But it does compact everything into one variable and then you don't have you don't accidentally put the wrong variable number in but instead you might put the wrong index number in but it's a kind of cool thing that uh, programmers use a lot to in industry to make their programmer or their programs a lot uh, cleaner because they don't have a million variables instead they just have an array with a whole bunch of uh, different information and they only call on that array so yeah that's arrays for the ev3 software and the next uh, videos, we will be finishing or continuing on with uh, our uh, logic or data operations uh, red palette. So that's it for now.